I keep seeing these videos online of people turning these crazy giant mushrooms into bacon. This thing, the king oyster mushroom. I found a recipe online from SeriousEats.com, I'll put the link in the description below, that shows how to turn this into a bacon replacement. And I was just curious to see if it actually came out tasting like bacon, so here it is. You just need a few things, supposedly. We'll find out how it comes out at the end. But you just need some king oyster mushrooms. You wanna get these about the length of bacon strips. Kosher salt, paprika, sugar, garlic powder, maple syrup, and black pepper. I'll leave the link for the ingredients and the amounts in the description below from Serious Eats. Now we're also gonna need some wood chunks for smoking. You can also buy the shredded wood chunk bits. I'm just gonna use the apple wood that I used for the watermelon and I'll show you a quick way to smoke at home if you don't have a smoker. So the first thing that we have to do is preheat our oven for 350 degrees, line a uh, rimmed baking sheet with some parchment paper, and then I'm going to cut these about an eighth inch thick. I'm gonna use some metal skewers, towel, and then a really sharp knife, and I'm just gonna kinda press down on the mushroom. Now, I mean, and that's honestly a very good looking piece of bacon, so I'm excited about that. So we'll just get these all cut up and then go from there. I mean, that legitimately, if it was a bleached piece of bacon, that's what it looks like. I mean, it's the same type of textures and everything running throughout. It's, this is gonna be pretty exciting. We'll, I believe this might be a good replacement. Okay, then the next step, now that we got those cut up, is we're going to take our baking sheet and just give it a nice coating of vegetable oil or canola oil. And really all we're gonna do is just line these up on the baking sheet. Now, I know that these are different sizes, so they're gonna cook differently. It's not, I wanted them to all be as even as possible. We're just gonna do our best. And then we're going to salt and pepper each layer and then actually flip and salt and pepper again. Then we just need to drop the bacon in the oven for about 20 minutes. Let's get that rolling. And then once they're in the oven for 20 minutes, we're gonna flip them with a metal spatula very carefully because they're gonna be pretty delicate and cook them for another 20 minutes. <laughs> oh man, this stuff looks amazing. It looks like bacon-ish. We're not there yet. So the next step is we're gonna toss these in the rest of the seasoning and the maple syrup. I'm gonna add some of the garlic powder, some of the paprika, so then we're gonna do just a little bit of the maple syrup, and then I'm gonna lightly kinda of toss this together. I don't want any of these to crack. They are a little fragile. They kinda of came out a little bit more like chips. Now I know bacon's supposed to be crunchy, and I feel like the thicker strips ended up working out just a little bit better. So what we're gonna do next is a little fun. We have a steamer pot. We're gonna throw our bacon strips into the steamer. Then we have a piece of foil. I'm gonna drop the foil down in. And then this is apple wood. So I'm just gonna torch the apple wood, get that to smoke up just a decent amount. Then drop the steamer basket right on and then seal this guy up. And that's gonna smoke them for about 10 minutes or so. I mean, that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, that looks like a bacon strip to me. I, I don't know about you. So they're all done smoking. Let's go ahead and throw them back in the oven to crisp up for about five more minutes. <laughs> oh my, look at this. That is bacon. Well, bacon made out of mushrooms. Let me give it a try. Let's see. Mm, that pretty much tastes just like bacon. Like bacon, you say? Tipsy Walk. I'll be the judge of that. Well, that's Tipsy Walk. He's a meat eater. Mmm! You wanna try another one? Sure. For a vegetarian, I'll tell you, this is an exciting step up. If this was on a BLT, or I guess since this is a mushroom, an MLT, you would really, I mean, it's recognizable as bacon. I'm happy about it. There's a lot of work that goes into making this, so is it worth it for a vegetarian or vegan? Maybe, because there's not a really a whole lot of good bacon substitutes on the market. But that's all I got. Thanks for watching the Mushroom Bacon King Oyster into bacon. But that's it. These people right here, these are the people that support me on patreon.com slash sauce stash, so please go check that out. All it takes is a buck to get your name right here.
So I'm gonna go see, I'm gonna go see if I can force another one down Tipsy Walk's road. Check out Tipsy Walk, 